You can't smoke just in the, on the streets, right? Yeah, yeah. and it's, uh, in Italy you can smoke everywhere, so it's so different. Like if they say, we're gonna go to Japan, you're like, oh wow, like be sure to do this or that. Number one tip, get a PASMO card. Yeah. Uh, PASMO card for sure. Hey guys and girls, I'm Astro Venice, it's Cathy Cat. This time we went out, hit the streets of Tokyo and asked the foreigners, they're actually here in Japan, what travel tips they might have for you for when you come to Japan. So let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. Girls, where are you from? We're from the United States. Yeah. That's right. Now, before you came to Japan, I'm sure you prepared before coming to Japan. So let us know tips for people who want to come to Japan, like what to do, what to prepare, maybe what to pack. Okay. Um, read a ton of blogs. That's how we prepped. Um, just a ton of travel blogs. If you come in the summer, wear clothes that are not long sleeve or leggings. It is hot. Wear cool clothes. It's it is hot. hot. Yep. And humid. It's very hot and humid. Yes, yep, yep. Um, and don't pack too much because there's a ton of shopping and so you're probably going to go home with probably half of what you packed. So. Yes. Pack lightly. Pack lightly. Because we have a ton of stuff in I our hotel so room bags. that we have to bring back. Yeah. Lots of shopping here. So much. What's the best shopping you've done here so far? Harajuku, Harajuku. for sure. Yeah. Um, probably the best shops. Vintage shops, second hands for designer bags, um, actual designer buildings like we went to Fendi, Chanel, yeah, all those places. It's amazing. Has a lot. Yeah, I would tell like a friend before he or she is coming to Japan. Like if they say we're gonna go to Japan, you're like, oh wow, like be sure to do this or that. Number one tip: get a PASMO card. Yeah, uh, PASMO card for sure. Yeah, it help. It's it's helpful to get around everywhere. Yeah. Um, look up more restaurants before you come because we watched a YouTube video today that was like a hundred things to do in Japan. And we have, what, three more days left? Yeah. And we're like, how are we going to do all of this in three days? <laughs> yeah, definitely do an itinerary before you come here. Because yes. we kind of winged it, and I feel like we missed a lot of restaurants that yeah. we should have gone to. Where are you guys from? Italy. Okay, Italy. which city? Uh, near Venice. Ooh, near Venice. Oh, <gasps> so jealous. How long have you been in Japan here for now? Uh, two sure. weeks and a half. Pack as less as possible. Uh, it's very hot, you just need to do some clothes washing. Leave uh, free space for your uh, shopping. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Ideally, almost empty suitcase, right? Yeah, best thing, empty suitcase. What did you buy so far? Um, a lot of uh, um, peluche. Ah. Uh, fluffy things and stickers mm -hmm. and uh, uh, some, manga, some manga and uh, also some novels, uh, mm -hmm. some video games. Uh, yeah. uh, and know. Daruma? Daruma! Yeah, yeah the red did. one. So you've already been shopping quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so leave enough space on your suitcase. What other tips do you have for people coming to Japan? Uh, bring an umbrella. Umbrella, umbrella yeah. and, towel, and towel. Always with you if you are here in summer. <laughs> the umbrella for the sun and the towel for the sweat. Uh, That's a good one, yeah, like a umbrella parasol kind of thing. Anything you'd say, like before come, you come to Japan, be sure to do this or prepare that? Or? Uh, um, I think to know about the culture of the country and uh, also their rules, uh, because uh, Japanese uh, uh, have a lot of rules that they, in Italy, for example, there, there aren't. Uh, tattoo. The tattoo, Probably yeah. Tattoo. Uh, ah, yeah, cigarette uh, smoke uh, around the city, or I don't know. So yeah, you you can't smoke just in the, on the streets, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, in Italy, you can smoke everywhere, so it's so different. Any other travel tips for people coming to Japan? Book everything in advance, uh, trains, pass, uh, and also buses. Mm -hmm. If you have long trip buses, you have to book them. Uh, unless you will be stuck in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> ah. Guys, where are you from? France. Which city? There is oh. Lyon. When they come to Japan, any travel hints or tips? Mm. Uh, bring your, your geopass before. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the best thing. Some uh, local uh, change for yeah, currency, currency, yeah. like currency, and uh, like your your book, like book everything in advance, like your uh, your hotel that's and everything. Yeah. That would you be mentioned that the JR pass. On where people might not know what the JR pass is, so can you explain what the JR pass is that you have to bring in advance? Yes, the JR pass is like a train ticket that only foreigner can get. Uh, actually, Japanese cannot get it. 
and uh, with it you can you can travel around Japan using the railway and it's uh, it's cheaper. Did you take it for one week, two weeks, or three weeks? Uh, seven one days. Week. One, uh, one week, yeah. Yeah, one week. And it costs uh, two hundred sixty-four. Uh, yeah, something like that. Like in Europe. Uh, yeah, in, in Europe. <laughs> if yeah. you're European. So you got the ticket. You bought it in France, yeah. but you had to change it over here in Japan. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. like when you arrive, in, you, we arrive at Narita Airport, and then you go to a JR pass like uh, office. And they give you the GR pass, and they also get you the if you want the, the, the Suica card for the, oh, subway. For the subway. You yeah. can get it at the same place at the airport, so it's really convenient. So did you get a Suica card in the end? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, apparently it's complicated with the subway. You have different companies running the subway, so it's it's, it's supposedly you, you easier take, uh, to have the Suica card. Any other travel tips for people coming to Japan? Uh, for now, we just arrived like not long ago, so um, bring water if, it's, if you're yeah. going in summer. Very hot. <laughs> And a lot of uh, ch uh, like things to, to change yourself because it's, yeah. uh, it's really yeah. it's really hot. Yes. Yeah. Is is it like the summer in France? What's different? Um, no, it's it, the humidity is like here, like it's really humid. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's not really hotter, but like you feel like the heat, like it's really like yeah, you feel like more heat, even if it's not, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not really hotter, but it feels it feels like it. The felt temperature is definitely in the 40s right now. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, where are you from? We are from Brazil, but we live in here in Japan. <laughs> hey, both of you? Yes, I am too. Did you grow up in Japan too? I lived here for about uh, 11 years, then I, uh, I went to Brazil and came back from here. I don't look Japanese, but... <laughs> you have Japanese heritage? Yes, a little. Like a quarter oh. Japanese. Well, then you'll be answered to, uh, able to answer some of our questions, I see. Now, did you grow up in Japan too? I lived here for about uh, 11 years, then I, uh, I went to Brazil and came back from here. Now before you guys came to Japan, after you've been in Brazil, before you came, what are like the things you prepared for coming to Japan or any tips for people who are coming to Japan? First you need to learn about the culture here because it's very di different from Brazil. Uh, in Brazil people are very open and can talk to anyone uh, in the streets and things like that, but here people are a little they are like forthcoming but they are not that very open like brazilian people a little bit of about the the language like uh onegaishimasu toka uh like uh, the little bits about the language you need to to be prepared to use here so study your culture study your language <laughs> any advice you can give is there anything you're like if you are with japanese people is there anything you're scared about when dealing with Japanese people? Uh, we shouldn't be touchy because Brazilians are very touchy, so yeah. don't touch them so much, <laughs> very much. We like, uh, we greet with the hands, like that, things like that. Uh, we don't, usually, Japanese, if the Japanese person uh, don't do that before you, you do that, I think uh, you shouldn't. Though. If like they, they extend the hand to you, you give the hand and shake or things like that, but uh, hugs and things like that, <laughs> they, like, they don't like that so much. So in Brazil, I'm like, hey, I'm Kathy, nice to meet you, what do we do? Brazil, hey. I think, uh, depends Ooh, on the region. Uh. I get a kiss, I didn't know that. Sometimes I you get a kiss, sometimes you ju just get a hug, sometimes you get a handshake. Yeah. <laughs> so and if, we, if, you, if I was a Japanese person, how would you greet me? Probably, probably <laughs> hi or just a ball or something. <laughs> I don't know. They, if they hug you, I think you you're allowed to hug them. But if they don't come that very close, you just bow or like a hoyo oh, yeah. Keeping it simple. Yes. <laughs> oh, have you ever hugged a Japanese person? I think like uh, like bosses from work that liked me very much, and oh. uh, uh, we we get out got out to together like to drink and things like that, but not at work. Where are you from? I am from Washington, D.C. Wow. You're visiting and you're living here? That's right. How long for? I'm probably going to be here for another year or so. Especially because you re you just recently visiting and you've been here for a longer time. What would you as a tip advise people to prepare before they come to Japan? So I know people from some Western countries aren't accustomed to a lot of rules. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just like a do stuff, ask questions later kind of culture, especially in America. But in Japan, like just kind of see what everyone else is doing and follow the crowd because I remember when I first got here, I forgot to take off my shoes somewhere and like my friend looked like her eyes were about to pop out. <laughs> so 
So yeah, just be careful and kind of follow what the locals do to make sure you're not, you know, um, foregoing any rules or anything. That's a good point, good point. <laughs> Anything before, that you prepared before traveling? Well, anything that she told you to prepare before coming to Japan? Oh, she said it would be nice and, and hot and warm this time of the year. Um, be prepared for some good food. So I did that and keep an open mind, try new things. So I did that. Any tips you would have for travelers coming to Japan? I'm trying to think. Travelers. Up, I guess look up um, things like, for instance, we wanted to go to the Ghibli Museum, but some things are very popular and so you kind of need to book them in advance. So I would say definitely do your homework in terms of the places you really, really want to go. Good point. Right. Yes, the tickets for Ghibli come out like a month in advance. If you don't get it there, you can't get them for a whole month. Any tips you'd give, especially now that you're living here in Japan? Um, make sure to bring a bag big enough to put all your trash in because Japan has no trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> You have to carry all of that back home, girls or guys. Yes, good point, good point. Yeah, like just, you know, be friendly. Everyone here is really friendly, so don't be scared. Like, I know they seem like kind of quiet here, but they're usually very friendly. That's it. Since you both mentioned like research or being prepared before you come, what was the thing you researched with the most? Was it like blogs, YouTube, books? What was the thing that you used as research? Definitely YouTubers, um, because I actually follow a lot of YouTubers who work here in Japan or who are entertainers here in Japan. And like since they've been here, their advice is, you know, very good because like obviously they've lived through it and like it's relevant. So I follow mostly YouTubers on this kind of thing. How did you prepare yourself before coming to Japan? <laughs> asking well-traveled friends and they shared with me their favorite sites and um, internet sites and things that they use to help them to organize their travel and to get discounts and things like that so that's what I did. <laughs> oh, who's the best YouTuber? Who's the YouTuber? Which YouTuber did you watch the most? There's this channel called Curly and Kansai. Yeah, she basically talks about her experiences in Japan. She's been here for seven years, I believe. And, you know, she lives in Osaka, which is where I live. But um, she's really funny. So even like the craziest things that have happened to her, like I think some Japanese person just like yanked her hair on the elevator one time. She's African-American. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah I see. and she tells you kind of how to deal with that stuff, even though that's that's like something that doesn't normally happen in Japan but she just gives you advice on very like silly situations like that and where to find good hair products etc etc oh, that sounds really really I, I'm gonna have a look her look her up now I would think anyone's gonna help you gonna go for um ask Japanese like <laughs> <laughs> then in that case those were all our questions thank, thank you so much thank you, thank you. There was quite a lot of convenient travel tips that we just got from foreigners that are here right now, but actually, as a pro, if I may say so, I have actually compiled quite a lot of travel tips for you guys here on the Ask Japanese channel. So be sure to find the videos and check them out. There's loads and loads of more stuff that we're doing here in Japan, bringing it out to you. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss stuff like that. And I hope I get you soon. That was your shoe for more stuff here from Japan coming out to you wherever in the world you are. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you soon on Ash Japanese. That was Katika. See you soon. Bye.